Hello everybody and welcome to Cyberpunk. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I basically um, uploaded a video of Cyberpunk 2027. Wait, it's called 20... Yeah, 20... 27... Yeah, it's been a while since I basically... Um, we... Like, uploaded a video of this. So, yeah. Uh, let's... Let's get this episode going. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I'm just uploading a video right now, uh, on some Max Saber World. Like, the last episode. So, when you watch that, it's... As soon as, you know... Gina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, B. Hey, yo, B. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? This gave me a next-gen ass whooping. <laughs> you curious? See how he handles the likes of me. So how about it? What'd you get? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in. Let him blow him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military fox. Got a sweet deal. And a tumor mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. How's it going? How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch. Take notes. Malone versus Hernandez. Nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, please. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Not today. Nah, not today. Thanks anyway. Whatever. I'll be here.
about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J O B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. How do you manage this? How'd you manage to pull this? Trading your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. The old me? Oh, but Team Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. Tell me more about Dex. Dex to Deshaun. What's the latest spec on him? Oh, you got any for the spill? He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off the hardcore virtues. The important thing is he's back. He's a fresh crew, and he found us. What's the job exactly? So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is riding on you now, I see. What? Why me? Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug throw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, man. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is his own man. You know my way around fixers. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gun to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit, hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Where you know? Brunch your wheels. Give them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new. Sensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kid and caboodle. All right, kid. 
We'll sort you out in a flash. As I said, how are things? Hate him. Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hit the major leagues. New tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down. Said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. What's new in the Wait, so, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town. I've been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though. Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right?
You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's really the charm. <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I'd also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on. Show them what you made of. I want you to hit the big leagues. Don't forget where you came from. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. Waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before a max tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Sean in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bat? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? How remember you? That's all that counts. Some sort of test. Some sort of test. Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean... riddles? No, Mr. V. Ontology. Alright, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Why me me? And why the joke? Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do business. 
is within the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And Sweet T Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre mission just for you. But we'll get to that. The job, tell me more. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tent, a bioship to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. I guess it belongs to a court. Mm hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. That's a death No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with him here. What can I say, Mr. B? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no lady. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the Dutch other shit. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, it's a conundrum with the males from boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Tell me about it. Client, what's your thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Been there wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person. Jackie's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much thank you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Gotta be. Slot and shot. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know maelstroms involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat by a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tip. Cause if we don't get that by, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd seal our deal, his friend and gang mate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shit's group, one Meredith style of Militech has developed an interest in said kind of boy. He was Royce guy. What's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Who's the woman? It's the prima donna. Corporal agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now.
Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us in a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had to switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Give the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. <laughs> Sounds thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack, something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Got him at the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. You gotta see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all food. Put my nose to the ground. Step around. Hasta luego. Alright guys, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys on the next one.